It's already since 1999 that I work with the topic of horses and the first time that I edited the topic of a horse in my work was because of a commissioned work for the Museum of the First War in Ypres. And this type of work that I did during the period had a lot of things to do with the, the genocide in Rwanda. So uh, war and fear and anger was already one of my topics that I used, but uh, translated uh, in the way that I was using the body and the blanket. And when this uh, question came from the museum in Ypres, um, I was very pleased that I could go so far in, in their archive to find uh, my own topic to work around. And I was so much touched by the images of the dead horses uh, in the town. They were all over on the floor and completely abandoned. So there was no uh, human visible anymore. So you, you just saw the image of the dead horses on the street. And then in another series of images, I saw these uh, huge wagons piled up with dead bodies of horses. And for me, during that time, the horse became a sort of metaphor for death. Um, because in war, you, you don't talk about one single person who died. You are, have this enormous uh, loss. And for me, that only could be represented by uh, the body of the horse, who was huge and on one way strong. But when they are died, uh, that they are uh, so helpless and they became, for me, uh, they have human uh, qualities, human uh, sensibilities. So this duality between torture and taking care is very often visible in my work and that's so nice to, to be a sculptor, that you have all different angles that you can watch to a piece and in each piece that I made, there is one angle that you don't have any doubt. It's a very positive sign to, to watch to. And very often when you move to the other side, then you see another layer and you became more uh, unsure of the first image. And, and you try to, to be sure that you saw it in the right way the first uh, approach to the work, like what I mentioned with the vitrine here, that it, I found it really important when people enter the space, that they have this very comfortable feeling that they recognize something. Yeah? And then I will put you on the wrong leg to see there is much more if you see that you are watching to the dead bodies of the horses and they are connected to each other, even they are forced with a leather belt on top of each other. So it's like in one way it's torture, but on the other way it's like when you are laying on top of each other together and you are belt, you are never able to, to get lost or to, uh, to fall apart. And this is the positive uh, meaning of that piece. In, in my work, I, I start always from, let's say, icons. And for me, the, the horse is one icon, the tree is an icon, the deer, the human body, and the skin. And to start from something real is, uh, for me, the most easy way to translate it or to transform it into something new. And because of I'm very uh, precise also in the details. And since I do also some horses in lead or uh, cast in iron, where I'm able to, to show you all the details and the, the power of the horse, who is very visible in, in, the, ve in the veins and in some uh, muscles, that they are still are strong, even when they are die. And for that, we have to shave the the skin, and that's a completely other view of the horse when they are more or less naked. They are even more human. They, they are close by our skins. So I just talked about the surface uh, 
of the skin. But there is more, for me, like surface is um, the most important thing because it's the way that we are looking to the work. And if I look to the works uh, just behind me, the, the surface of the tree is the wax. And uh, the wax is also made out of many layers that I paint one on top of the other and they are uh, melting to each other and sometimes it's the red who appeared, sometimes it's the blue when I paint a vein or I, when I paint uh, a darker uh, shadow in, in the work. And for me, working with the surface is like that I feel that the, the surface or the skin is the container of the soul and not only from the horse, also from the tree or from the skin or from the humans. So it's the way that we uh, watch them. And in this uh, container of the soul, what I mentioned with the skin, is um, there is a sort of uh, unknownness inside. There is a sort of mystery or a, a hidden part that we don't know. And that makes us so curious to try to understand and to to go into the depth.